Hey guys, I just woke up. White cat's here. Um, yeah, I just woke up at 11 a.m. Cause we had a late night with friends playing Jackbox. It's a great game. If you've never played, you should play. It's an awesome game. If it, it's free, and if you have a friend or somebody that already has the game that bought it, then anybody else can play for free. Anyways, I just wanted to come on and tell you guys, who knows when you see this video, it's March 10th, 2019, 2018, excuse me, and my birthday's in a week, and on the 17th of March, and I cannot wait, I got spring break from work, because, you know, where I work and stuff, and I can't wait. But I want to tell you something. When people give you rules on how to play a game, or rules on what not to do in their live stream, it doesn't mean you can break the rules. Let me explain. We like to play Jackbox 4. There's four different Jackbox games you can play. And we like to play number four a lot, Civic Doodle. And... Yes, I love playing Civic Doodle, but sometimes it gets annoying when every time you play, no one ever picks your artwork. So you never get... Everyone's like, oh, let's look at everyone's creation. No, it's not everybody's creation. Because mine never get picked. No one ever picks mine. And the whole time, basically what Civic Doodle is, they draw a shape, line, whatever, and then you try to come up with something that goes with that, that you can attach it to, and then, and then the next person, and then two people do that, and then you vote which one you like, and then the next person adds to it, and so on. And most of the time, we draw faces, kind of dull, and, and it's getting boring, in my opinion, but the very very end they give everyone a circle and they tell you draw eyes or they give you a body and say draw a head because you're going to be making a dog so they want you to draw a head so and people don't like to listen to the rules they're like okay I'll draw a head but I'll also draw ears eyes nose mouth a body, whatever. When that's not the rules. They didn't tell you to do that. They told you to draw a head, you draw a head. It tells you to draw eyes, you draw eyes. You don't draw eyes, nose, mouth, hair. No, it didn't ask for any of that. And sometimes there's three circles and they say, draw a face over to the left. You draw a whole face, and then the other two, they draw faces on. That's not the whole point. Because then you ruin the next two rounds, and then it's no fun. Because what you do is you vote. Then once you vote, the second thing is, let's say, since this has to do with the dog that people didn't do the rules for, after you draw a head, it says, now I want you to draw legs, feet for for this one. People will draw legs and then a tail and then ears and then like different things and I'm like, you didn't listen to the rules. The rule, they haven't gotten to the part where you can free draw whatever you want. That's later on. It said draw fucking legs, you draw fucking legs. It didn't say draw Sonic and then draw because what pissed me off was people always keep breaking the rules and the first one said draw a head well they draw a Sonic head with eyes nose everything and then people picked it even though they broke the fucking rules and everybody else did it right and that pissed me off. 
And then when it was time to draw legs, they're like, oh no, what are we going to do? And where are we going to put the legs? This is one fucked up art. Eh. Well, you know one who chose it. You knew it was coming up next because we play this all the time. It's your fault. Not mine. So I just scribbled. Because I'm like, they're breaking the rules. They're not doing it right. Why should I do it right when they fucked up? And then the next one was like, draw a tail for the dog. And then everyone's like, oh my god, this is so fucked up. This is so weird. This is so creepy. Oh my god, how are we going to do a tail? Oh my god, this is so, oh. And they didn't like it. Well, you're the one who voted for it. You knew it was coming up next. You're the dumbass. And then, then after it's done, it says, free draw, whatever you want. And then they look at their art and they're like, oh my god, this is so creepy. This is so weird. This looks so fucked up. Well, you're the one who picked it. You could have went by the rules. You knew what the rules were. And when it said, you can free draw whatever you want, I just scribbled it out and made the dog like I was supposed to, knowing I wasn't going to pick because what's the point of trying on that one when my artwork never gets picked? My face never gets picked. My dog never gets picked. My alien never gets picked. Nothing... I draw ever gets picked so I don't tell people that I'm up next I don't tell people what should I draw nothing I just draw and let them pick which one they think it's they want and hopefully I get picked most of the time I get picked but towards the end I don't get picked if you want to see some of the artwork from Jackbox that we've done that I have screen capped go to I am Alien88 on Twitter, and you can see some of those artworks. If you want me to, I could put some of them on my like page, Ycats, or the Ycats YouTubers page if you want for games. So it's technically a game. And you can see some of the ones that I've done, and you can say if you like them or if you don't like them. And say, if I was playing, I would pick yours. You know, give me encouragement. That'd be great. Because I get so sad every time we play Jackbox. Because no, nobody ever picks my my sayings. My sayings on Civic Duel never get picked. I pick really cool sayings to go along with their their artwork, even though my art isn't in it. And my sayings never get picked. Never. My I should take a picture of each one before it gets each line before it gets drawn and then draw something and show you what I would have drawn if that was m my game if my artwork got picked but uh and maybe I could put it for you guys to on my white cats page on Facebook and let you guys Show me what you would have picked. I don't know. Or on Twitter if you want me to. And then you guys can show me what you would have drawn if you played with us. We also play games like TKO. And my pictures and my sayings get picked all the time. Which is very, very really cool. Um, but in Quiblage or Quiplash. Quiplash? I don't know why I keep wanting to call it Quiblage. But... Quiplash, they always, it's fun, because they always pick my, my sayings sometimes, but not all the time. And then we play Fabid, Fab, Badge, Fabage, I don't know, F-A-B-B-A-G. And that one you can change your name. And sometimes we don't know who the person is, and I'm like, yeah, last night I was like, I don't know who you are. I can't answer this question if I don't know who the hell you are. And when I was asking who this person was, they weren't confessing on who they were. Which was not playing the game. Oh, which was not making the game fun. Because I'm not just going to do a random answer knowing it's going to be wrong because that person couldn't tell us who they were. 
This is a game that is for us to get to know you. We can't get to know you if you don't give us your name. That's why I wish in that game they would make it where you have to use your sign-in name and you cannot change it. Because then we would know who's who. And... Yeah, and my answers will say, I don't know, or I can't answer this question because I don't know who the hell you are. And then people are like, oh my god, have fun. Oh my god, who cares? Just make, just make up an answer. Who cares if you don't know who they are? Just come up with something. Who cares if you know them or not? It's just for fun. I can't have fun if I don't know who the person is. Sorry. If I know who they are, then I can have fun. And then people are like, for the rules thing, they're like, who cares if they go by the rules? Yeah, so what? They tell you to draw a head, so what? Draw whatever the fuck you want. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Who cares? It me it, the game isn't meant for you to follow the rules. It's meant for you to play the game and have fun. I can't have fun unless people follow the rules. The game wouldn't have rules if it was meant to be broken. The game could have just been like, draw something. Okay, draw something else. Okay, draw something else. That's what the game would have done. But no, the game can't had rules. It's just like when you play the game of life. You can't just go, oh, there's rules. We have to go this way. Each player has to play. You have to spin the thing and boom and do what it says. You don't just go, I don't want to do any of that. That's boring. I'm just going to make up my own rules. Then the game's not fun. You can't just make up your own game. They have rules for a reason. Just like on on your live stream. Are you saying that rules are meant to be bro you say rules are meant to be broken? Okay. Nice knowing you. I had fun talking to you. But you're in jail now, so I can't talk to you anymore. Why are you in jail? Because you broke a rule. You in it? You decided. The rule usually is when you go sh when you go to Walmart is you have to go and you go to pick up jewelry or whatever you want DVDs and you have to go to the cash register and you have to pay for it because if you don't that's called stealing and that's called getting in going to jail. So th the reasons why kids stay in school. Learn something. Then you wouldn't be saying rules are meant to be broken. Because rules are not meant to be broken. There's rules for a reason. Like your mommy telling you, every day you got to do the dishes. And then one day you decide, I don't want to. Rules are meant to be broken, so I'm breaking them. Well, when you break the rules, there's consequences. So that's the reason why there's rules. I can't just go into someone's live stream and say, you're an ugly fat fuck. And not take the consequences of being banned for saying that. The rule is you have to be nice in this in this live stream. But yet you say rules are meant to be broken so I can break the rules. And that's okay because rules are meant to be broken. Come on now. Rules are there for a reason. Rules are there for a reason on games. So you can play the game correctly and have fun. You can still play the game and have fun by going by the rules. Breaking the rules is not fun. Anyways, I'm going to get going. I will talk to you guys later. I'm Boney and Boney. Now leave me alone.